Starting your computer in safe mode lets you identify common issues with your PC, including unwanted malware and apps that pose a risk to your security. In this CCleaner knowledge video, we're going to look at how you can enter safe mode in Windows 10, whether you're booting up or restarting the system. Safe mode is a way of running Windows on your computer in a way that allows you to diagnose problems with your operating system. Unlike normal operating mode, a computer's safe mode only loads the software it really needs. You typically only need to boot into safe mode when you want to troubleshoot a problem with your computer. This can come in particularly handy if you've exhausted other methods of fixing common issues with Windows 10. If you encounter the problem that you've been having when you're in safe mode, you know that there will be an issue with your device's default settings and drivers. If you can't replicate the issue in safe mode, you're safe to assume that the fault is with your device's non-essential software and applications. As so few features are loaded, Booting into safe mode allows you to fix common issues such as malware problems and unstable drivers from the sign-in screen. Click the power icon on the sign-in screen and click restart whilst holding down the shift key. This will reboot your computer but tell it to boot to the boot options screen. From here select troubleshoot, advanced options and click on startup settings. You'll now see a range of different options listed on the screen, including the option to start your PC in safe mode. Press F4 or 4 on your keyboard to boot into safe mode, or press F5 or 5 to boot into safe mode with networking if you need to connect to the internet. From a blank screen. To try and access safe mode from a blank screen, try resetting your graphics driver. This can be done by holding down the Windows key on your keyboard while simultaneously pressing Ctrl Shift B. If you're using a Windows tablet, you'll need to press the increase and decrease volume buttons together within a two second period. Windows will now try to restart your graphics driver and you should see the screen dim or flutter and hear a beep which means Windows is trying to refresh. If you've tried booting to safe mode from a blank screen but nothing happened, there might be a connection problem with your PC or display. Here are some things to try. If you're using a desktop PC, make sure your display is fully plugged in and turned on. A change in driver can cause a video signal to be sent to a different output on your PC. Try switching the cable between your computer and monitor to one that uses a different output type. Check your monitor and computer's documentation to see what output types they support. If there's a problem with your computer's video driver, your system may default to using the integrated graphics on your processor, which will output through the motherboard. If possible, try switching your monitor cable between the motherboard's video output and back to the video card. If you're connected to an external monitor using a laptop or tablet, if it's in a docking station, try removing it temporarily. Check that the external monitor is plugged in and turned on. Check for damaged cables, loose connections or faulty adapters. If you're using multiple displays, try projecting video to a different monitor. Press the Windows key and P to select a display and then press Enter. How to restart in safe mode. If you're signed in, you can simply reboot into safe mode from the settings app. Open up the settings app from the start menu or press the Windows and I key on your keyboard. Choose update and security and select recovery from the left navigation pane. Then click the restart now button under advanced startup. Your computer will now restart into the boot options screen. Simply follow the same instructions from earlier to boot into safe mode. Exiting safe mode. When you want to leave safe mode, simply restart your computer. When it boots up again, you will be back to your normal Windows experience. We hope you found this video guide useful for accessing safe mode on your computer. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more knowledge videos from CCleaner.